Today I'm gonna milk a cow for the first time ever. Then I'll bring this milk back to my kitchen to make easy homemade yogurt. But let's step back for a minute. How did we get here? I realized I'd never milked a cow before. So I reached out to my followers on Instagram and asked if anyone knew where I could milk a cow. I should have known what would happen, but most of the replies were offers from people asking me to milk them. Come on, guys. After going through thousands of messages, I found a farm where Elizabeth will show me how to milk a cow for the first time. And she's promised to send me home with some of that fresh, hard-earned milk, with which I'm gonna make yogurt. I actually think the car just pulled up. Let's go. All right, a ride's here. Let's go to Vermont. All right, so we're in the car now. We have our amazing driver up here, Michael. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Thank you for that, Michael. So it looks like we're pulling up to the farm here, yeah. Elizabeth here kindly is the one that invited us up. You actually had one of the only non-creepy responses on Instagram. <laughs> what, These what are this? our what we call our matriarchs of our farm. These are all good moms that have made a lot of babies on our farm. But wow. yeah, this one actually has the most sentimental value to my husband and I. This she, cow. This cow. Her name is Lair. We bought her when we started dating. Oh. It was a complete gamble on our relationship. She could have <laughs> failed, and we could have failed, and it would have been bad. But this God. cow, we're gonna melt. She's two years old, and she's pretty special. So so she's right really there. cool. Her name is Bray. But yeah, all these cows have like personal stories that so cool. really, they're Love part that. of our lives. They're part of our livelihood and we're proud of them. And yeah, that's awesome. They're really pretty. Do you want me to just walk you through what yeah. we do? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, okay. I'd love to. She gets a special diet. We feed her Aww. kind of like, um, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Hi, honey. Aww. Am I, am I, of can, course. You can, of course. like, do they like that when you? Yeah. Oh, she, she shied away. She's like, daddy chin. Hello. This is the suction part. So that's pulling the actual suction of pulling the milk. But then this part is the pulsator. So it's giving a off on. So it's not just constant sucking. It's more of like a, a massage, much like how a baby would drink a bottle or a yeah. calf would drink a bottle. There's four. Yeah. teacups go to each of the four quarters again if you want to put your finger in there it's not on right now you can okay. so you can feel oh, how oh, it goes in no no but, okay. but you can feel the side how it goes in and out oh wow it's okay oh that scared me <laughs> <laughs> so it goes in and out and oh, that's nice. how she's kind of feeling that massage that's crazy yeah so the milk will come into here into this what's called the claw then that milk will go into here how much milk would we theoretically get like in a typical like a really high producing cow can do anywhere from 50 to 60 pounds per milking wow. that's really that's high a lot of milk. but she's a two-year-old so she's gonna be around 30 to 40 still a lot of milk she'll make anywhere from three to four to five gallons today. Okay. So do you want to start? Yeah, let's do, do it. it. I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. We're gonna first clean the clean the teeth. That's right. That's clean what it's the teats. Yes. All right. This she's not gonna. The pre dip. Like, I'll hold this for uh, you. Knock me out or anything nope. like that. So you just bend down okay. and dip it. Get it nice and full. Right there. Yep. Just go for it. And yep. what do I do? Squeeze. Just like do a couple splashes up. Like yeah. Here you go. You got it. That's Next, it. Yep. Next <laughs> oh, one. we're just cleaning. Manny, what are you laughing about back there? <laughs> like, that's it. it, huh? That's it, yep. So I'm just sterilizing it. Yep, no, we let it rest for about 30 seconds. Here you go. <laughs> this is awesome stuff to learn about because, I don't know, most people just don't ever get to do anything like this. Cool. It's only like 2% of people in America are true? farmers. Strip the teats, yep. Okay. So what you're doing is, oh. so you make a little pinch at the top and then you squeeze it down with the rest of your fingers. Pinch and squeeze it down. There you go. That's it? Oh, wow. And you can feel that it's warm milk. It is really warm milk. Yeah, we're stripping the teats in case the milk that was right here, not inside the udder, was a little bit dirty. Oh, that was There good. you go, that okay. felt good, How's that, right? Manny? That was great. Now we're gonna put on the milker. The loop is gonna go towards the tail. I'll turn it on, but what you'll do is you'll attach it to each of the four. And, and once what, it's on there, it's it sucked on. At first she might do a little dance like that, but then it's relaxing. It's like a good feeling to let her melt cool. down. Okay. Oh wow, it sucked right on. Yeah. Oh my god. So now the milk is flowing all the way through there and that's here. That's right. It's just rushing through there. And yeah. you said that's That's left. a good sign that she's relaxed. So you can see how there's a nice alternation that it's not a constant suck, it's more of a massage between the teeth. You can start to see that she's slowing down. Yeah. I'm pulling on it just to get the last few drops, if you will, or just make sure she's done. And then what I'll do is I'll twist this to end the suction, and that's it. Just like that. Just like that. So much milk. 
before when we was started and we were here, it was down here, right? <laughs> it was like right, this. Right, it was probably like it right was, here. It was pretty yeah. far down, right? Mm -hmm. So now we'll do the post dip is what we call it right okay. here. So it's got an iodine and conditioner in it. Oh, they're all shriveled up now. Yep, so that's why they need to be reconditioned and protected again. Oh, okay. So this is like moisturizing a little Correct. bit? Cleaning off my, I got in the splash zone there a little bit, huh? Yeah, for that's sure. Right. Yeah. It happens. So we just finished milking the cow. We couldn't take home any of the milk that we got from the cow right there because it has to be pasteurized first, right, right? right? But we have some farm fresh milk that has, this has already been pasteurized. Correct. And we're gonna take this home and use this to make the yogurt. Just so you know we're being safe. Thanks Elizabeth. See you soon. See you. All right, we're now on the way home. It was a fantastic trip. Big thanks to Elizabeth for having us to the farm. And I'm also really excited because we got some delicious fresh milk and I can't wait to see what kind of yogurt we're gonna make with this. Time to take another nap. We got a long ride ahead of us. And we're back. I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of this milk right here. I mean, this is about as fresh as you can possibly get. Which of course means that we're gonna have some pretty darn fresh yogurt. And it's actually super easy. We're gonna start by going into a saucepan with one quart of our fresh cow milk. You don't have to go milk it yourself if you don't want. We're then gonna turn on the heat and heat this to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure you keep a really close eye on it and stir it around once in a while to make sure none of the edges are scorched. Once our thermometer hits about 180 degrees Fahrenheit and try to keep it as exact as you possibly can, we're immediately gonna take this off the heat and then let this cool to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Now once our thermometer reads 115 Fahrenheit, we're now gonna scoop in about three and a half tablespoons of this new Supplane yogurt, which we're essentially using for the live cultures right now. And then we'll slowly pour in that 115 Fahrenheit cow milk to make sure it's all evenly combined. Once it's all evenly whisked, it's time to let the yogurt rest. We'll carefully pour this all into a nice glass jar. And optionally, you can also divide it between a few. But at this point in time, we wanna keep this at 115 Fahrenheit the whole time. It's time to cover and let this rest for about six to 12 hours. Your best at home option may be to just put it in a very lightly warmed oven, so long as it's around 115 Fahrenheit. And then that'll be it. And now our yogurt is complete. You'll notice it'll be a little bit thinner than your average yogurt, which is totally fine. If you want, you can definitely strain it through cheesecloth, but I like it just the way it is. So let's add a few things and make a nice little bowl of yogurt. To assemble my yogurt bowl, I'm gonna start with a few blueberries. Then I'll cover those in a nice layer of our homemade yogurt. Now I'll go in with a nice fresh layer of maple syrup, then a nice layer of freeze-dried blueberries and yet another sprinkle of our fresh blueberries. Then I'll cover it with a nice layer of yogurt one last time, a touch more of our maple syrup, a few freeze-dried berries, and to finish it all off, just a few little mint leaves because I want to keep things nice and bright and green on the top. And that right there is my yogurt bowl that was made from going all the way to Vermont, milking a cow ourselves, and bringing it back to our kitchen. Just before I taste this, I want to start by giving a big thanks to Elizabeth and the whole farm just for inviting us up there today. I really appreciate it and that is an experience that I'm not going to forget. Now let's dive in. Okay, really good. We've all always heard that fresh cow's milk is gonna have a super rich and creamy taste and flavor. Oh my God, that's so creamy. But this goes above and beyond all expectations. And I also think the idea of adding a little bit of honey or maple syrup into your yogurt is always such a good move. Something so simple, yet it elevates it so incredibly much. The yogurt is soft and super, super milky, with of course a slight tang from those live cultures that we added. All those blueberries give off a little bit of their juice and melt around the yogurt, giving some nice purple color to it. And I'm just blown away by this yogurt. This was such a fun experience, and I'm so glad I could take all of you on it with me. Again, I'm gonna remind you to go down and hit that subscribe button right now don't forget to like and subscribe the video. You know what? Maybe I'll just go get a cow of my own. We can milk every single day. See you next time.